Hi, this is JP from Nova Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Hero Pack Focus, and this time we are looking into the X23 Hero Pack that just came out for Marvel Champions the card game. So, without further delay, let's get started. Okay, so uh, Laura Kinney aka X23 comes with the pre built aggression deck, so let's start looking at the mechanics and the cards that come in this zero pack. So, first off, we have the alter ego side Laura Kinney. So, uh, Laura has a 6 recovery mutant trait sync uh, setup, put X23's claws into play, action shuffle. Either the Honey Badger ally or the uh, Sisterly Bond event from your discard pile into your deck uh, and draw one card, limit once per round. On the hero side, we have two Thwart, one attack, and two defense. Axe for Straighted. And uh, Living Weapon response after X20. 23 takes any amount of damage ready x23 and hand size is 5 and six, uh, hit points is 10. Uh, I forgot to mention that the alter ego side has a hand size of 6. Okay, well uh, first off let's look at the mm, x23's claws. So it is a upgrade, permanent, weapon traded Hero action, exhaust X23's claws and take 2 damage. X23 gets plus 2 attack until the end of the round. And uh, it has a power uh, or physical resource icon, but you can't commit it because it's a permanent and comes into play. Next up, uh, we have the Honey Badger signature ally. So. Uh, Honey Badger is a 2 cost ally with 1 fort and 1 attack. X Men traded 2 hit points. Response after Honey Badger takes any amount of damage ready. X23. And this can be committed as a wild resource. So, one thing to note is that you, if, if uh, Honey Badger gets defeated by the damage, you can't use the hero response because the card is already out of play in your discard. So, uh, you need to be mindful of that when you are playing. Next up, we have Animal Instinct, or Instinct, and there are two copies of this event. So it's a zero cost event, skill traded, hero interrupt. When X23 makes a basic thwart, she gets X plus X thwart uh, for this uh, thwart, where X is equal to her attack. And this can be committed as a mental resource. And uh, then we have Claw Mastery. There are three copies of this event. So Claw Mastery is a one cost event, skill trade at max one per round. Hero action until the end of the round, X23 gets plus 2 attack, and her attacks gain overkill while Honey Badger is in play. And this can be committed as a energy resource. Then uh, we have Regenerative uh, Longevity. There are two copies of this event. Uh, it is a one cost event, superpower traded action, heal a total of 4 damage from your identity and Honey Badger. And this can be committed as a energy resource. So with this, you can keep Honey Badger in play longer and keep yourself healthy. So looks like a good good card for this uh, uh, deck. And next up, we have Sisterly Bond, and it is a zero cost event. Only one copy of this. It is a condition. Hero interrupt when Honey Badger thwarts or attacks. Add. X23's matching power to Honey Badger's power for this use, and it can be committed as a, a wild resource. So you can make Honey Badger hit or thwart a lot more than it is printed on the card with this. Next up, we have uh, Sisterhood, uh, one copy of this. So it is two cost support condition. 
action, exhaust sisterhood and discard an X23 card from your hand, search your deck and discard pile for honey badger and add her to your hand shuffle. And this can be committed as a mental resource. So uh, with this you can recur honey badger uh, faster than waiting for your deck to cy cycle through. So that's good. Uh, next up uh, we have uh, adamantium lacing. So it is a one cost upgrade. Uh, you get two plus two hit points. X23 gains retaliate one and her basic attacks gain pier uh, piercing. And this can be committed as a physical resource. So that's a decent one for only one resource. Then we have another upgrade, Grim Resolve. It is a one cost upgrade, condition traded uh, resource. Exhaust this card and take one damage, generate a wild resource. And this can be committed as a mental resource. So um, uh, another way to make resources for your cards to play so this is really good and it's a cheap one again and then we have pain tolerance uh, it is a two cost upgrade only one in the deck super traded response after you play an x23 card including this one heal one damage from your identity and this can be committed as a energy resource so uh, good card, so you get uh, passive healing all the time when you are playing your signature cards, which is great. And lastly, in the signature set, we have two copies of uh, Puncture Wound upgrade. It is a zero cost upgrade condition attached to an enemy that X23 or Honey Badger attacked this turn. Attached enemy gets minus one attack, force response after the player phase begins. Discard this card and deal 3 damage to the attached enemy. And this can be committed as a physical resource. So those were all the signature cards from uh, X23 set. Next let's look at the rest of the pre-built deck. So we have a bunch of new uh, aggression cards. First off we have the Boom Boom. Uh, boom Boom is a 3 cost ally with 1 sword and 1 attack. Axe Force traded, 2 hit points. Action Exhaust doom, uh, Boom Boom, add 1 Boom counter to her. Then you may discard Boom Boom to deal 1 damage to each enemy for each Boom counter on her. And uh, this can be committed as a energy resource. So there is basically no upper limit on the Boom Boom counters. Uh, you can uh, every turn exhaust boom boom and make a really big boom when you want to discard her. So that's that's great. Next up we have Richter. Uh, is a three cost ally with one fourth and two attack with an asterisk. And uh, um, X force traded three hit points. Uh, Response after Richter attacks, discard the top card of your deck, deal one damage to each enemy, uh, each minion engaged with you for each resource on the discarded card, and this can be committed as a wild resource, uh, not a wild uh, energy resource. Okay, so uh, if you really want to utilize this, uh, then uh, have a bunch of multi uh, resource resource cards in your deck so you really get the most of this guy then we have shadow star uh, shadow star is a four cost ally with two thwart and two attack with an asterisk and the thwart has two consequential damages x force traded for hit points uh, interrupt uh, when shadow star attacks a minion engage that minion if you are already engaged with that minion Shatterstar gets plus one attack for this attack, and this can be committed as a mental resource. So, uh, from the top of my head, this looks like a decent card for uh, aggression Thor. So you can uh, engage enemies uh, from uh, other players uh, with this, and you get to draw cards with the Thor. 
So that seems like a good good deal. Next we have a critical hit. So three copies of this event. So critical hit is a two cost event. Play only if there is a side scheme in the victory display. Hero responds after you attack an enemy, stun it. And this can be committed as a uh, wild crystal, uh, not a wild, uh, mental resource. So, okay, um, in this uh, hero pack there are a lot of cards that require you to have a card in the uh, side scheme in the victory display, so uh, keep that in mind. So, let's see, oh, then we have Moment of Triumph, and this is a reprint from an older card with a new art on it. So it is a zero cost event, uh, hero responds. After you attack and defeat an enemy, deal 1 damage from your hero for each point of excess damage dealt to that enemy by that attack, and it can be committed as an uh, energy resource. Next up, we have a hero side scheme. It is keep them busy. So, player side scheme 1 cost, victory 0, assault, base thwart against this scheme uses attack instead of thwart. So you can thwart this by attacking it. When defeated, the player who defeated this scheme removes 5 threat per player from the main scheme. And this comes into play with 3 threat per player on it. Okay. And next we have Now I'm Mad. 3 copies of this. Uh, now I'm Mad is a 1 cost upgrade condition trade that play under up to any player's control, max 1 per player, while your hero's remaining hit points are less than half your hero's starting hit points, your hero gets plus 1 attack and minus 1 thwart. And this can be committed as a um, physical resource. Next up we have the direct approach. Uh, 3 copies of this in the deck. 1 cost upgrade, tactic traded, attached to a non-permanent side scheme, limit 1 per side scheme, attached to the side scheme gains assault, basic thwart against this scheme uses attack instead of thwart, and this can be committed as an uh, energy resource. So, I'm really liking uh, these uh, that make uh, the schemes gain assault. Because now, th this seems like a really good card for Hulk. If you catch my drift uh, with the high attack value. Next up, we have another player side scheme. It is specialized trading. It is a one cost side scheme. Victory zero. When defeated, each player who does not control a specialization upgrade chooses one set aside specialization upgrade and puts it into play under their control. Uh, the specialized uh, upgrades are not part of the pre-built deck, but they are included in the hero pack. We will look at them in a moment. Or I think we'll look at them now, because they are tied into that card. There are four different ones. First off, we have a combat specialist. It is a two cost upgrade specialization trade that linked specialized training. So it means um, uh, when you defeat specialized training, you get to play one of these. Uh, your hero gets plus one attack. Hero response after your hero performs a basic attack. Exhaust this card for one card and it can be committed as a wild resource. Then we have defensive. Uh, defense specialist, it is a 2 cost upgrade, linked specialized training, your hero gets plus 1 defense, hero responds after your hero performs a basic defense, exhaust this card, draw 1 card, and it can be committed as a wild resource. Then we have frontline specialist, uh, it is a 2 cost upgrade, linked specialized training, your hero gets plus 4 hit points. Response after your identity takes damage from an attack, uh, enemy attack. Exhaust this card, draw one card, and it can be committed as a wild resource. And lastly, we have a surveillance specialist, two cost upgrade, specialization traded, linked specialized training. Your hero gets plus one thwart. Hero response after your hero performs a basic thwart. Exhaust this card, 
draw one card and can be committed as a wild resource. Then we only have a pre uh, or a reprints basically. So we have the three basic resource cards. Then we have IPAC. So not talking about these that much. Then we have X Bunker. Uh, now I'm. I think this has occurred before, but I'm not sure. So uh, it is a two cost support location, X Force traded action, exhaust X Bunker and two some player whose identity has the mutant trait. That player searches the top X cards of their deck for any card where X is the number of side schemes in the victory display and adds that card to their hand shuffle and it can be committed as a energy resource. I think that came in the cable pre-built deck. And lastly, we have three copies of Endurance. And that has uh, appeared uh, multiple of times already. Okay, uh, next up, let's look at the obligation and sites, uh, uh, the Nemesis sets, before we dive into the rest of the hero pack. So, the obligation is self isolation. Give the Laura Kinney player. Uh, to the Laura Kinney player, now uh, set your hand, deck, discard pile, and play area for Honey Badger, and place her face down underneath this obligation. If you cannot discard this card and deal yourself one face down encounter card. Response after you make a basic recovery, discard this obligation and Honey Badger. And this has two boost icons. So that uh, shuts down the Honey Badger reoccurrence into the deck, so that's a quite nasty obligation. Uh, next, let's look at the Nemesis set. We have uh, Lady Deathstrike. Uh, so Lady Deathstrike has a 2 scheme and 2 attack Elite Reaver. Traded 5 hit points. When defeated, the, the player who defeated this minion discards the top card of the encounter deck and takes 1 indirect damage for each boost icon on that card. And this has 3 boost icons. So that uh, Lady Deathstrike will hit you even when you defeat her, so that's that's nasty. Then uh, we have the Nemesis side scheme in the name of Vengeance side scheme. Uh, the enemy or each enemy gains retaliate one, so that's that's nasty. And uh, this comes into play with six threat on it and has three boost icons. Then we have Cyber. Uh, Cyber Mods, it is an attachment, tech traded, attached to Lady Deathstri Deathstrike, if you cannot discard cards from the top, the encounter deck until a minion is discarded, put that minion into play, engage with you, and attach this card to it, and forced interrupt when attached minion would be discarded, shuffle it into the encounter deck instead, and this can be, uh, this has two boost icons, so it will reoccur one enemy faster than uh, the encounter deck going over. Then we have a critical wound. It is an attachment attached to your identity, forced interrupt when your turn ends, discard this card and take 4 damage. And this has two boost icons, so that's nasty. And lastly we have hack and slash. Uh, it is a treachery. When revealed, discard one random card from your hand and take damage equal to the number of printed resources on it. And the boost ability on this card is discard one random card from your hand and take damage equal to the number of printed resources on it. And it has a boost ability icon or whatever it is called. Okay, well that was the whole pre-built deck and the obligation and the nemesis sets. And lastly we have new cards for the other um, colors. So uh, first off we start with the justice cards, aspect cards. So we have three copies of uh, predictable deploy. So, two cost event play only if there is a side scheme in the victory display. You will interrupt. When a treachery card is revealed from the encounter deck, cancel it when revealed effects. And it can be committed as a mental resource. Then we have Rally the Troops. And this is, I think, already uh, came in one of the previous decks, but uh, I'll go over it. So, it is a zero cost player. 
Besides the aim, victory zero. When defeated, heal two damage from each ally. And it comes into play with three threat per player. Uh, I think it hasn't come out yet in other products, so that's a new card. But I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, last card in the pack is Anticipated Attack. Three copies of this event, so two cost event. Uh, defense traded, and it is uh, reads play only if there is a side scheme in the victory display. Hero interrupt defense when an enemy initiates an attack. Give your hero a tough status score, and this can be committed as some entire resource. And that is the whole hero packs for X23. So uh, I was dreading that it would be really similar to Wolverine, but there are a lot of differences. Uh, of course, you have the um, same ability that you get uh, close out at the start, but um, I think X23 will play out quite differently to Wolverine. So, e even though you have Wolverine, you might as well get this. It's a completely different hero. And, uh, well, we'll see how, how she plays. I'm excited to sleeve her up and try her out in a scenario. But, hope uh, this uh, hero pack focus was of use. And you get to decide if you want to add uh, X23 to your collection. Uh, hope you guys like this uh, hero pack overview. And... Uh, Thanks for watching and until next time.